my YouTube, we're doing OC profiles for semi bug stacks OCs. Expect another one somewhere next week. Because I'm going to be jam packed with things to do. Anywho, I'm going. We're starting left to right. And we're starting off with. with with Limpton. Limpton and Mongo are actually twin brothers. Mongo is the is my version of the journalist. Limpton happens to also work at GNN. Though he works as an article editor. He's one of the head editors even. He actually has a decent relationship with uh with Clumby. Well, may when when Mongo doesn't. Mongo is the adventurous type, and normally has his head in the clouds. Well, well, Limpton is normally straightforward, headstrong, stubborn. He has plenty of sass when need when need be. I'm surprised. No wonder why him and Columbia get along. They're both sassafrases. And fun fact about Mongo's hat is that it's based off of the off the hat the journalist steals in Snack Two's Last Secret in in the uh in the comic book that's being worked on still. And here's Scooby Gigglebean. So he he's connected to a whole AU where the bug snacks just start coming, coming and forming uh, more grump forms. Though these forms are not able to be eaten, and honestly, they're uh, and they're not like snackified limbs or anything. As you can see here, they're completely normal limbs. And they cannot eat other bug snacks, because that'd be counterproductive. Scoopy is obviously a Scoopy Banoopy. Hopefully that's obvious. And as you can tell, I had issues with drawing his face. It's been a hot minute. And I changed the nose to be more round to fit the cherry, which the nose became the cherry. You might be asking, where's the other cherry? He has a tiny tail. That tail is red. You are welcome. He he leaves Snack Tooth in one of the endings of that AU. Which yes, the, which yes, the AU itself has multiple endings. Which I'll explain once I explain to everyone else. But basically, he he is basically Floofy and. And Gramble share custody between them. Because Gramble likes likes him and wants to keep him safe and all. And Floofy wants to run experiments. Because Scooby's been cut out from the main hive mind. And is thus being attacked by every other other snack on default. Because he can't be turned... Because he can't be brought back into the hive mind. He has a similar reaction to the journalist when eating a bug snack, which is throwing it up. Or indigestion. Though this time it- Though there is a theory that the factor that you have to grow a taste for it. Which would be odd. On- There's a theory that for bug snacks you have to develop a taste for it. I'm just like- that doesn't make sense. Because besides sauces, and also you see Gramble eat, eat a bug snack for the first time, and he doesn't go and vomit it up. Anywho, on to the... What is... What is her name? Aunt... The Amber Sniffs. These two are twin siblings. And we've got Vral Amber Sniff. 
She has perfect 2020 sight. So did Flint, but then Flint lost his sight after getting experimented on and turning into a bug snack. That's right, Flint used to be a bug snack. That's how he got his green horns and his tail. Which, fun fact, he he was uh, he uh, he was a boss snack for this area I'm making, which is underground in a cave system. Which is ironic, cause Varala happens to be a cave explorer or a spelunker. I also ship Varala with Egabel and Lizbert, because explorer type, cause two, cause. Because Agabelle totally needs to, to exploring, to explore in her life. <laughs> and okay, so post the reason why uh, Flint has a walking cane that's normally used for blind that nor, that blind people use, and that shouldn't be used as a prop fun fact. Because after he got these, due to the factor of hit, the bug snack he got turned into, had zero eyesight. When he got desnackified, which don't ask me how that's possible, apparently, by his personal account, it's pretty painful, he lost a majority of his eyesight. The only thing now he can see is light. And you may be wondering, wait, who turned him into a bug snack? And all I gotta say is the Grumpinati. Anywho, he at when he was asked, "Hey, do you want any specific type of cane, walking cane?" He was like, "I want one that's pink, sparkly, and has a ball joint at the end." And he got that. They didn't even question why he wanted it to be pink when he came and see color. And his friend Scribble Nickelbottom. His friend happens to have a. Illness that's brought on by gen by it's a genetic disorder, which I haven't decided which genetic disorder it is yet. I probably should, <laughs> but it's one you can treat treat with gene therapy. And due to this genetic disorder, they're constantly in and out of the hospital. And Flint tries to help pay for that. By, but eventually he realizes, oh wait, hospital bills cost money. So he go, goes ahead, go, come, somehow finds the Grandpa Naughty and is like, hey, would you mind paying for my friend's care and all if I agree to be your little, te to be your test subject? And they're like, sure. You just can't see them for two years. He's like, great. And they had a huge fight over it. Then they didn't see each other for two years. And when they see each other again, Flint is blind. Scrabble's doing decent, but she's concerned why he suddenly sprouted horns and a tail as well as being blind. Like, where in the world did it say that you'd be blind and grow, grow random appendages? And he just looks at her and goes, hmm. Well, technically he doesn't look, he just looks up because he, he remembers that she's taller than him and just shrugs. <laughs> And so Scribble helps him get around and all that fun jazz. If you want me to explain the the you Scoopy comes from in more detail, I'll do it if there's enough demand. But go ahead and comment that down below if you want to see if you want to hear about that AU. And even possibly the mix with the symbiote AU as well. And if you want to hear any more specifics about each character, sorry, I don't know how to help you there, <laughs> except for, go ahead, come up to me and ask. And if you want to see my other other ones, which I do plan on doing a family specific with the Twinkleberries, if you know, you know, <laughs> the Twinkleberries. Anywho... Hope you guys enjoyed the video.
Have a great day. And if you enjoyed the video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.